Let us pray. Almighty God, we invoke your divine presence at this graduation ceremony to be with our seniors, faculty, staff, family, friends, and alumni. We ask from this day forward, you help our graduates to remember your son and his words as they seek wisdom through greater knowledge. Help them to remember what Jesus said, I am the light of the world. As they seek their path through life, help them to remember that Jesus said, I am the way. As they seek to understand the deeper and ultimate meaning of their lives, help them to remember that Jesus said, I am the truth. And as they seek fulfillment, help them to remember that Jesus said, I am the life, abundant and eternal. Heavenly Father, watch over them, protect them, provide for them, guard them, guide them, and give them your grace to enable them to persevere to the end. Amen. Amen. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the eighth commencement exercises of Trinity Classical Academy. <laughs> Today we celebrate the end of the contribution that Trinity will make to the formal education of these 42 seniors who have been equipped to know, love, and practice that which is good, true, and beautiful. As Trinity students, our seniors have been part of a rich heritage that has believed for centuries the best Christian thought has always recognized the life of the mind is a gracious gift and a true education requires an animating and inspiring vision integrated in faith and learning. Their education is a faith-filled monument carved by faculty, staff, board members, parents, grandparents, coaches, and friends into the heart, mind, and soul of each student who will graduate today. Thank you all for your commitment, faithfulness, and investment in making really Trinity what it is so we can do what we do for students. All of you have helped create what has become and represents a harm, hallmark educational institution of excellence in our valley. Thank you to the many friends of Trinity for your continued support and generosity. In particular, please help me recognize our board of trustee, trustees who work closely with me and help support Trinity's mission and vision. Please stand when I call your name. Phil Alfeld, Dave Anderson, Bob Houghton, Tracy Weaver, Mark Hoffman, our trustee chair, is not with us today for his granddaughter is graduating from a high school in Texas, as well as Tom Lesher had to travel. So please help me thank our trustees. Thank you. Thank you. Also, I would like you to help me recognize our Trinity alumni with us today. Please stand. You have to, because I said so. Let's go. Hey, hey, stay standing. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Please stay standing. Please stay standing. It is a joy and privilege to see you. Your investment in our school helped pave the way for our seniors today. Your investment in your parents' investment. Because of you today, we will have our 200th, 200th Trinity alumni cross the stage today, our graduate. Thank you, yes. Thank you so much. It's good to see your faces. Thank you for being here. Thank you also to Higher Vision for the grace, gracious use of their beautiful facility. We were here yesterday as well. We're pretty much here all week. We're actually thinking of moving in. I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thank you so much. The class of 2019 has pursued over the years 
that which is stated in our mission, to become young men and women of virtue, wisdom, purpose, and courage. They are scholars, musicians, artists, actors, orators, patriots, entrepreneurs, initiators of school clubs, and athletes, nine of who will be continuing their athletic pursuits at the collegiate level. They have pursued excellence by staying the course and doing hard things. They have grown in character, perseverance, humility, humor, graciousness, and courage, ready to pursue what the Lord will call them to, trusting the Lord goes before them as they lead others. It has been a joy to see you learn to care for and love each other well over the years. It has been a joy to journey with you in your learning as an administrator and teacher. I pray you live to those ideals you have read and learned of during your time at Trinity and that you say yes to the Lord when he calls you to lead and do hard and bold things for him, doing it afraid if need be, but still doing it. R.C. Chapman writes on faith, if we act only because our path is clear of difficulty, this is not faith. Faith acts upon God's word, whatever the difficulty. And to walk by faith brings the highest glory to God. I hope and pray you rise to that call and that as it states in Luke 2.52, you grow in wisdom and stature and with favor with God and man, and that you trust in the promise of Jeremiah 29.11. The plan has, the Lord has a plan for you, and it is good, and you can trust in his hope. As a class, these graduates had 165 acceptances to 85 universities, 16 of them for the first time, and were offered over $6 million in merit-based scholarships to universities around the country. This class participated in Trinity's dual credit program, which enables students to receive college credit for certain rigorous rhetoric school classes at Trinity, taking these credits to their university of choice. Average units earned by students in this class were 30, six units earning over 42 credits. I believe this class leaves Trinity, most importantly, knowing they are not to live for themselves and will live nobly, seeking to make a difference in a world that needs the love of Christ. They have received an extraordinary education, committed to the classical tradition, oriented by the word of God. It is a privilege to celebrate the achievements of these graduates and our school today. Thank you. It is my joy to welcome Andrew Deaver, Trinity Scholar Athlete of the Year, Cincinnatus House Captain, a pursuer of the excellent and good always, serving those around him at all times, attending Trinity since kindergarten, Trinity's 2019 salutatorian, Andrew Deaver. Seniors of the class of 2019, where have you been and where are you going? These are the questions that matter. Together we have traversed many places, both physically and intellectually. Fourteen of us walked into a little church on 15th Street in 2006. Now 42 sit here ready to cross the finish line. Do you remember the 20th day of August? We stepped into our first class of high school. We were wearing our newly bought formal wear, proudly presenting our new house ties. We were ecstatic and terrified. A daunting journey laid before us. As freshmen, we learned how to effectively discuss with one another as we read Frankenstein and Wuthering Heights. We learned how to defend the intelligent design worldview against macroevolutionary theories. 
and we thought that paper was hard. As sophomores, we tackled the most difficult questions which have plagued philosophers and theologians since the Middle Ages in order that we may think for ourselves. We learned the importance of cultivated virtue and pondered its relationship to glory in our symposium. As juniors, we finally earned the title of rhetoric students as we discovered the five canons of rhetoric and, and learned Ciceronian style. And we didn't just learn what rhetoric is, but rather how and why we should use it in order that we may become a force of good in the world and a beacon of light. We overcame AP tests and SAT, and finally we sat in those seats right behind the ones you're sitting in now, and we're told, you are now seniors. As seniors, we experienced an intense year. It felt as though we were sprinting down a steep, rocky hill to the finish line, doing our best to remain focused, but still enjoy the moments as we pass them by. We experienced senior sunrise. We stood on top of the Duomo and beheld all of Florence below us. We went cliff diving in the Mediterranean. We survived a rigorous senior thesis process that will serve us well when we are called to defend or speak upon a topic in the future. Some of us have known each other longer than we can remember. Long enough to feel more like family than friends. Sometimes we are a family that doesn't always get along, but deep down we all love each other. A love that has been forged over many hardships endured together. Over these years, Trinity has equipped us with detailed evidence for a personal creator and savior. It has trained us in the ways of logic and rhetoric that we may effectively defend our faith. We live in a time where the Christian intellect has nearly been lost, in a society that has gone off the rails, and a church that seems to be passive about it. It is my hope and prayer that you rise to this challenge for which we have been prepared, that you do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Now where are you going? We stand at the threshold of a new chapter of our lives, about to cross over and never return. Who will you be? How will you live your life? These are questions that only you can answer about yourself, and I hope you take them seriously. Enjoy this moment. You have earned it. Cherish the people around you. Embrace the challenges and do not be afraid to fail. Serve the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And never stop asking yourself, where have you been and where are you going? Thank you. Please stand as we sing our hymn of dedication, a hymn that asks the Lord to be our vision, our wisdom, our shield, our inheritance, and our victory. Be thou my vision, Savior. Thank you. 
It is a privilege to welcome Drew Pfeiffer, Trinity's Athlete of the Year and recipient of the Ronald Reagan Leadership Medal yesterday at our baccalaureate, Senior Lieutenant for Dante House, a true heart for learning, seeker of those things virtuous, and a humble friend to all, attending Trinity since seventh grade, Trinity's 2019 valedictorian, Drew Pfeiffer. Four years ago, Mr. Lee silenced a crowd of rowdy freshmen in his dimly lit portable classroom. Pacing the room with his signature meter stick in hand, uh, well, his first signature meter stick, but that's another story, he distributed copies of Virgil's Aeneid, dropping each gargantuan book before a wide-eyed student with a resounding thud. I remember the looks of terror on our chubbier faces as we flipped through what back then we would have simply have called 500 pages of classical gibberish. But in those earliest weeks of freshman year, we would actually fall in love with the epic tale of Aeneas, a Trojan war hero who, after the fall of his city, journeyed across the Mediterranean Sea to find a new home for his people, ultimately founding the eternal city of Rome. Today, Trinity's senior class of 2019 has reached the end of our own journey, a journey that began 1,000 374 days ago. We started out not as Trojan refugees fleeing a burning city, but rather shy and uncertain 14-year-olds running from a beautifully chaotic junior high existence. Our voyage across the sea of rhetoric school was filled with adventures and trials that transformed us. We braved violent storms of homework and sleep deprivation, explored foreign shores of new classes and new friendships, and battled sea monsters in an epic seniors versus staff lake wrestling bout at Forest Home. These last few months, as we conquered senior thesis, celebrated college acceptances, and shed bittersweet tears on our last night in Florence, we knew that our destination was just over the horizon. Aeneas's journey culminated in finding a new home. I am humbled to say that on our journey as well, 42 students found a new home in Trinity Classical Academy and a second family in our peers, teachers, and coaches. For many of us, who'd spend entire days at the school, it often felt that we actually lived at Trinity. In our four years, we were gifted with a safe place to grow as we tried new sports and fine arts, as our teachers pushed our limits, as we succeeded triumphantly, and as we failed boldly. And grow we did. We take the final steps of our quest today as seasoned thinkers, capable leaders, compassionate friends, and ardent defenders of the faith. For our friendships, for our memories, for our metamorphosis into men and women of virtue, wisdom, purpose, and courage. We owe everything to Trinity. Teachers, as you look upon your students today, know that your investment in us was not made in vain. You were our steady vessel. Where you led us, we followed. You sparked curiosity in our minds and wisdom in our young souls. Every lecture, every prayer, Every hallway conversation, even though it might not have seemed much to you, was slowly molding and chiseling us, and today you see your final products, your masterpieces. Even with all of the rhetorical powers that you've equipped us with these years, our words of gratitude for you cannot fully be expressed. Parents, we made it. Today is your big day as much as it is ours. You have made more sacrifices than anyone, not because you had to, but because you wanted to, because you love us. I hope you know today that the countless hours of unpaid math tutoring, the immeasurable distance you drive to watch us play, the midnight cups of coffee you made when we had thesis deadlines, the times you thought you were too hard on us, but we knew it was exactly what we needed. I hope you know that your sacrifices did not go unnoticed or unappreciated by us. Parents, Thank you for being the constellations by which we navigated our course. The ever-fixed constants and shining examples in our life that without which we would surely be lost. Even on our darkest of nights, when the waves of trouble seemed insurmountable, we knew that we could look to you, and there you were, 
guiding us on to the lives we lead today. Our gratitude is eternal, our debt unpayable, but our love for you is unbounded, and luckily for us, that has always been enough for you. Students, seniors, we stand together at the strangest of crossroads. In finding our new home, we now must leave it. But take heart, what we leave behind is a legacy amongst the Trinity community that I pray would be as unshakable as that of Aeneas and the Roman Empire. May we be remembered as the class who strove to love God and love one another in our thoughts and in our actions. Now what we bring with us is an identity. We will always be knights, forever a part of the dynamic community of students, teachers, coaches, staff, and alumni of Trinity. And in being a knight, this school has taught us to live in accordance with our higher identity as a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people for his own possession. Seniors, my prayer for us is that we would never forget our journey, our new home, our second family, and our identity. Trinity, remember us. Miss us just a little bit, for surely we will miss you deeply. Pray for us as we make our next journey, this time away from our home, as we become the pilots, the doctors, the lawyers, the artists, the thinkers, the servant leaders of tomorrow, and as we continue living as the embodiment of this school's vision today. In all things, may the Knights of Trinity Classical Academy here in this moment and for the many graduating classes to come, in the classroom and on the field, on campus and throughout the world, throughout our years and with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind, may we always proclaim the excellencies of the one who called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Thank you. The senior class has collaborated in its wisdom to select the most fitting verse which defines our senior year. Through our discussion, we chose 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving us for our eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. While the stresses of academics, sports, and extracurriculars wore down on our minds for the past year, we strove to complete them for a higher purpose, a purpose which we cannot see or quantify, but one that is unseen, one which is eternal in the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Spencer, and thank you, Drew and Andrew, for your words. Thank you. We are blessed this morning to have our guest speaker, Dr. Alden Smith, with us. He is from Baylor University. And over the last year, we decided, or two years, we decided to have someone come from a university where our students attend. Trinity alumni Elena Martinelli, class of 2018, is attending ba Baylor, and Kat Washak, class of 2014, just graduated last week from Baylor and is continuing her graduate studies there. Please welcome Dr. Alden Smith. Well, uh, congratulations, graduates. Let's give them a round of applause. This is a momentous day in your lives and in the lives of your families. There's much to be thankful for, many great memories, perhaps a few embarrassing ones, uh, moments of joy and sorrow, victory, and undoubtedly sometimes defeat. But today is a day of victory, and you should take a great deal of satisfaction in that. Satisfaction tempered with thanksgiving to God that you have arrived at this day, uh, a real rite of passage, and that he has something wonderful in store for you as you set out from this special place into your own special future. Now, the last time I spoke at a graduation like this, 
I talked about Homer's description of the generations of human beings as being like leaves. I did so in part because I knew that at that school, the students ne had never had the opportunity to read Homer. But at Trinity Classical Academy, it isn't like that. You've studied logic, mathematics, and rhetoric here. You've read and discussed great books. Homer isn't a character on a TV show for you. <laughs> and, you and you've mustered uh, your courage to write a senior thesis. You've put into practice virtue, wisdom, purpose, and courage that, co that form your uh, school's motto. So it would be a little redundant on my part to tell you to have a purpose or be virtuous or to be courageous. And you've been doing those things, I imagine, for quite a few years now. And as you've grown and hopefully advanced in godly wisdom, you've figured out already that they're not one and done things. That becoming a person who is the result of such formation who will affect good in the world will require not only perseverance, but also something special, a certain sine qua non, uh, the quintessence of goodness, truth, and love that here you have been uh, granted access to. And that's why I'm not going to encourage you merely to aim high or to be your best self. But I am here to tell you precisely the opposite. Don't be your best self. Instead, be like your brother. Brother? My brother? You might well ask. Now, if you have a brother, you might be thinking right at this very moment, I don't want to be like him. <laughs> now, I hope your brother is not a scoundrel, by the way. And if he's here listening today in the audience, I would at this point admonish him precisely not to be uh, such a scurrilous uh, character. And this goes for any sisters in the audience as well. Uh, no, I'm not talking about your brother Nate or your sister Maria. I am talking about your truest brother, Jesus himself. For when God became flesh, he became one of us. He became our brother, our human brother. We often, so often, think of God as far away or different from us. And he is different from us because he is holy, entirely good, entirely faithful. He isn't virtuous. He is virtue. He isn't courageous. He is the source of our courage. He isn't just loving. He is love. And in that way, the God of heaven is, I freely admit, different than us. He's the goal to which we strive. As St. Peter writes in his first epistle, but just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. And thus, aim high, a motto uh, as, as suitable for the U.S. Air Force as it is for the aforementioned student whose sole exposure to Homer is likely to have been a graduation speech. That's just simply inadequate for you. Peter has set the bar higher, for he has set it holier. Good heavens! you might be uh, now thinking, how can I be holy in the world of today? The values of the world I am growing up in, Dr. Smith, are frankly different from those which you grew up in. Well, let me address that with a sizable not really. Uh, I know uh, some things have changed, but consider this. I grew up in the 1960s and 70s, so actually the values of today's world are really not that different. And what about other related uh, topics, from sex to drugs to rock and roll? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but these things are not new either. And they weren't new in St. Peter or St. Paul's day. Okay, maybe rock and roll would have been. But suffice it to say that when Peter calls upon his reader to be holy, he's doing so in a context um, that when to have done so would have been very counter-cultural. The Roman-dominated world, you see, in which he was writing was as easily as body and modern as our own. And in the midst of that world, Peter boldly says, Be holy in all you do. And his words obtain for me and you now today. And just, as, uh, just how are we going to do that? Good heavens, you might be thinking. 
This is supposed to be a graduation speech, not a spiritual high jump contest. <clears throat> well, you put the bar too high. No, no one can do that. Well, of course, you're right in a way. We're not going to achieve that goal perfectly, no matter how well you've been educated so far or how well you will be educated in the years to come. No matter how much you pray or go to church or how many Bible studies you lead or take part in, but let me just say that even though you won't be perfectly holy, you can still strive to be holy. You don't have to just aim high. You don't just have to try to be your best self or find a better angel or any other platitude. You can aim higher. For you're not uh, the first to ever have done so. You're part of a line of saints who persevered before you ever tried to do so. They were aiming higher. Their names you may know or at least recognize. St. Stephen of Antioch, St. Augustine of Carthage, St. Lucy of Syracuse, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Catherine of Alexandria. These folks were not just famous for their contributions to the church, but for their courage as well. Lucy, Catherine, and Stephen were martyrs, while Francis and Augustine were famous for their preaching and their teaching, not all of which made them popular. And you could add to these names more of your own. Maybe those of your grandparents, if they're here today, or maybe those of your brother, or your mother, father, your brother, or your sister. That is, if your brother or sister are not scoundrels, um, for, or if they have repented in the meantime, since I preached on that a moment ago, of their scoundrelosity. So I'll always keep in mind that you're not alone. And remember, too, that the values of the culture uh, at large, that is, the values of this world, are, are dubious at best because they are but vapors. And this world's solutions to its problems are often heavy-handed, you might have noticed, even draconian. But we, whose aim is higher, by virtue of that higher standard, we can be gentle. We are on a journey not to tumble to earth like Homer's leaves, only to be swept away by the breeze, but rather our journey is homeward bound. We can aim higher because that is the direction of our home. And along the way, we can be gentle with our neighbors, our friends, and even our enemies because that homeland is characterized by gentleness, mercy, and love. Let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Jesus teaches us to pray. And I want to close by looking at that verse for just a moment in Greek. In that language, it says, Let thy will be done even as it is in heaven, so upon the earth. Now, most of the translations that we normally cite are a touch inadequate on this, for they put earth first, but the Greek puts earth last and heaven first. That's because heaven is the bar. Heaven is the standard. It's the place from which we derive the strength to do God's will on earth. For that's the way things are done back home, in heaven. And home is the place from which we derive our values. So I end with that thought. Keep on your path homeward. Aim higher. And to get there, remember that you're not alone. Your big brother himself walked this path breathed this air, and died for you and me. And he walks beside you in your journey now. And there were many saints before you who persevered as you will persevere. Winston Churchill, the great prime minister of England, once suggested as much when he was addressing students from, who were graduating from the Harrow School in the midst of the Second World War. His advice was about perseverance and determination. And it was similarly terse. Sim he simply said, never, 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 never give in. In nothing great or small, large or petty, never give in. That wasn't quite the whole speech, but it was the most important part. And it was good advice. And I would encourage you never to give in to the siren song of this world. Instead, aim higher for your homeland is higher, and persevere to that goal. With God's help, you can. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Smith. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. This award recognizes the student who best exemplifies and lives out the vision and ideals of Trinity Classical Academy. One of antiquity's greatest warrior saints, St. George resounds across history and legend as an archetype of those who follow Christ in overcoming the world and its darkness for the sake of the gospel. Known by the Roman emperor for his valor and military prowess, George displayed an even greater courage by bearing witness to Christ despite temptation and torture and even unto death. As the cross which bears his name adorns the English flag and the noblest orders of European knighthood commemorate him in their names, so he furnishes the highest honor awarded to Trinity's graduating class, the Order of St. George. We now recognize the student who having grown in virtue, wisdom, purpose, and courage, prepares to continue overcoming and transforming the world for the sake of the kingdom of light. This year, we induct into the Order of St. George, Drew Pfeiffer. Very good. Parents of graduating seniors, in recognition of your love, support, and selfless investment of your child over their years at Trinity, please stand as I call your child's name. Remain standing while we share their accomplishments and speak of them to our community. Family members and friends, I would ask that you please recognize and honor the inserted etiquette statement in the program. Thank you. Andrew Masashi Pfeiffer. Andrew is our valedictorian with a cumulative GPA of 4.897 the white corded medallion being worn was awarded at the baccalaureate chapel. This medallion signifies a GPA of 4.5 or greater. Drew is receiving the Distinguished Scholars Diploma, our highest diploma at Trinity. Students that receive this diploma have completed all the humanities requirements and completed Latin at the highest level, but they have also completed four years of the highest level in both science and mathematics. Drew is the co-president of the National Honor Society. The purpose of National Honor Society is to create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote leadership, and to develop character in students. Membership in the Trinity National Honor Society chapter is a true honor recognized throughout the nation's colleges. Students earning this honor today wear gold tassels on their robes. Drew is also a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. California Scholarship Federation is the oldest scholastic scholarship institution in the state of California. To become a lifetime member is a true honor and distinguishes a student's outstanding performance academically throughout their rhetoric school years. Students earning this honor 
will wear a lifetime member pin as well as the gold tassel on their mortar board today. At the baccalaureate, Drew was honored with the Excellence in Senior Thesis Award, which the, is the honor given to the student with the highest achievement in senior thesis. Also at the baccalaureate, Drew was honored with the Excellence in Math and Science Award, which is the highest honor given to the student with the highest achievement in mathematics and science. Drew won the Most Valuable Student Award at the local Elks Lodge, where he received a scholarship. At the Varsity Athletics Banquet, Drew received the Male Athlete of the Year Award and the Four-Year Letterman Award for Baseball. Another recognition Drew received is the Ronald Reagan Leadership Medal, based on drive, humility, and service before self. Drew will be attending the University of California, Los Angeles, where he will pursue a degree in physiological science. Drew Masashi Pfeiffer. Andrew Richard Deaver. Salutatorian with a cumulative GPA of 4.879. Andrew is receiving the Distinguished Scholars Diploma, is a member of National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Andrew received the Athletic Scholar Award and the Four-Year Letterman Award for Soccer and Football. Andrew is considered a lifetime knight and has attended Trinity since kindergarten. Andrew was a four-year member of Trinity's Orchestra. At the Fine Arts Banquet, Andrew received the Artist of the Year Award. At the Film Festival Award Ceremony, Andrew received the Award for Best Actor. I know. At the, the Court of Red represents his role as Cincinnati's house captain. Andrew received a congressional nomination and will be attending the United States Air Force Academy where he, where he will pursue a degree in aeronautical engineering. Andrew Richard Deaver. I was thinking, Andrew, you could use that Best Actor Award in those Aim High Military Air Force commercials. <laughs> Samuel Todd Alson. <laughs> Sam is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. There we go. The college preparatory diploma shows that the student has completed all the required humanities core classes, has taken either Latin or Spanish, and has taken either taken four years of either science or math. Sam is also a lifetime knight and has attended Trinity since kindergarten. Sam was a four-year member of Trinity's orchestra. At the Varsity Athletics Banquet, Sam received the four-year Letterman Award for swim. Sam will be attending Humboldt State University where he will pursue a degree in marine biology. Sam Todd Alfson. Mackenzie Rose Betteridge. <laughs> Mackenzie is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. Mackenzie was a two-year varsity member for cheer and two-year varsity swim member. She will be attending College of the Canyons where she will pursue a degree in nursing. Mackenzie Rose Betteridge.
Amber Nicole Bond. <laughs> Amber is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. She is the Vice President of the National Honor Society and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member at the baccalaureate. Amber received the Rising Community Leader. Congresswoman Hill is presenting the award to three students who display leadership skills, have a passion for community or volunteerism, possess a commitment to their education, display resilience, and have exhibited compassion for fellow students. Amber will attend Westmont College where she will pursue a degree in biology Amber received academic merit scholarships. Amber Nicole Bond. <laughs> Michael Stefan Bulos. Michael is receiving the Honor Scholar Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society and a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. The Honor Scholars Diploma is our second highest diploma at Trinity. Not only has a student completed all the humanities requirements and completed either Latin or Spanish at the highest level, but they have also completed four years of honors level science or math courses. The cord of blue represents Michael's role as Dante House Captain. At the baccalaureate, Michael was honored with the Excellence in Humanities Award, which is the highest honor given to the student for his achievement in humanities. Michael will be attending the University of California, Davis, where he will pursue a degree in philosophy. Michael Stefan Bulos. Kaylee Nicole Butler. Kaylee is receiving the Distinguished Honors Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. The blue corded medallion being worn was awarded at the baccalaureate chapel and signifies a GPA between 4.0 and 4.49. At the athletic banquet, Kaylee received the Female Scholar Athlete Award and the four-year Letterman Award for cross country and for track. At the baccalaureate, Kaylee also received the Rising Community Leader Award from the office of Congresswoman Hill. Kaylee will be attending Westmont College where she will pursue a degree in kinesiology and will be running for Warriors track and field. The Warriors track and field team, Kaylee received academic merit scholarship as well. Kaylee Nicole Butler. Anna Joy Caddo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hannah is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. Without choice of her own, Hannah has been attending Trinity since kindergarten. <laughs> The Court of Blue represents her role as Dante House Captain. At the Varsity Athletics Banquet, Hannah received the Female Athlete of the Year and the four-year Letterman Award for Volleyball and Basketball. She will be attending Life Pacific University where she will pursue a degree in Human Development and Psychology. Hannah will be receiving a scholarship to play volleyball and she also received Academic Merit Scholarships. Hannah Joy Cato.
Carson Thomas Camposano. Carson is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. At the Varsity's Athletic Banquet, Carson received the award for the multi-sport athlete. Carson will be attending Chapman University where he will play football and pursue a degree in business administration. Carson received academic merit scholarships. Carson Thomas Camposano. Chloe Nicole Cast. <laughs> Chloe is receiving the Honor Scholar Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. Chloe has also attended Trinity since kindergarten. Chloe was awarded a gold cord, cord as a member of the National Society of High School Scholars. Chloe will be attending College of the Canyons where she will pursue a degree in graphic design. Chloe Nicole Cast. <laughs> Gretel Melissa Castro. Gretel is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. Gretel was the treasurer for Young Americans for Freedom Club. Gretel will be attending Gonzaga University where she will pursue a degree in psychology with a minor in Spanish. Gretel received academic merit scholarships. Gretel Melissa Castro. Lauren Elizabeth Chase. <laughs> Lauren is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. Lauren will be attending the University of Arts in San Francisco, where she will pursue a degree in fashion. Lauren Elizabeth Chase. Olivia Rose Chabot. <laughs> Olivia is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. Olivia is also a lifetime knight and has attended Trinity since kindergarten. The Court of Green represents her role as Patrick House Captain, which I should say, Patrick House won the House Cup last, yesterday at the Baccalaureate. Way to go, Patrick House. Well done. Olivia was the president of the FIDM Fashion Club and the vice president of our Young Americans for Freedom Club. At the Varsity Athletics Banquet, Olivia received the four-year Letterman Award for cheer. Olivia will be attending the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, where she will pursue a degree in fashion design and business administration. Olivia Rose Chabot. Chet Chen. <laughs> Chet is receiving the Honor Scholar Diploma. Chet was co-founder and co-president of our Trinity Business Club. Chet will be attending the University of California, Riverside, where he will pursue a degree in business. Chet Chen.
Yanju Cho. Yanju is receiving the Honor Scholar Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. Yanju will be attending the University of California, Davis, where she will pursue a degree in, in enology and viticulture. Yanju Cho. Elizabeth Craw. <laughs> Elizabeth is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. At the Varsity Athletics Banquet, Elizabeth received the four-year Letterman Award for softball. She will be pursuing a degree in culinary arts at the College of, of the Canyons. Elizabeth Craw. Jacob Manuel Estenal. <laughs> Jacob is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. He will attend the University of Arizona, where he will pursue a degree in Information Sciences and Technology. Jacob received athletic and academic scholarships and will play rugby for the University of Arizona Wildcats. Jacob Manuel Estenal. <laughs> Rayanne Gabrielle Lubuno Ferrez. Rayanne is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. She will also be in the nursing program at the College of the Canyons. Rayanne Gabrielle Ferres. Eleanor Minnis Fremming. <laughs> Ellie is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. Ellie has attended Trinity since kindergarten. At the Film Festival Awards, Ellie received the award for Best Dramatic Film and she will be attending the College of the Canyons where she will pursue a degree in media arts with a concentration in film and television. Ellie Minnis Fremi. <laughs> Samantha Aurora Griesi. <laughs> Sam. Sam is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. At the Varsity Athletics Banquet, Sam received the four-year Letterman Award for cheer. Sam will be attending Grand Canyon University where she will also pursue a degree in nursing. Sam received academic merit scholarships. Sam Griesi. Nathan Taman Hahn. Nathan is receiving the Distinguished Scholars Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. Nathan was a four-year member of orchestra. Nathan will be attending the University of California, Irvine, 
where he will pursue a degree in mechanical engineering, Nathan Hahn. Elizabeth Hope Howell. <laughs> Ellie is receiving the college preparatory diploma, is a member of the, Cal of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Ellie received the award for the multi-sport athlete. She will be attending the Honors College at Grand Canyon University, where she will pursue a degree in nursing. Ellie received academic merit scholarships. Elizabeth Hope Howell. <laughs> Nolan Jeffrey Culp. Nolan today represents our 200th graduate. <laughs> Nolan is receiving the Honor Scholar Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. Nolan is a lifetime knight and has attended Trinity since kindergarten. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Nolan received the four-year athletic award for soccer. At the Film Festival Awards, Nolan received the award for Best Animated Film. Nolan will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, where he will pursue a degree in landscape architecture. Nolan Jeffrey Cole. Monet Nicole LaFrance. <laughs> Monet is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime member. Monet was the Young Americans for Freedom Club Secretary. Monet will be attending George Fox University where she will pursue a degree in psychology and participate on the George Fox dance team. Monet received academic merit scholarships. Monet Nicole LaFrance. <laughs> Emma Grace Leathers. Emma is receiving the Distinguished Scholars Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. The Court of Green represents her role as Patrick House Captain. At the baccalaureate, Emma received the Rising Community Leader Award from the Office of Congresswoman Hill. Emma, Emma was a four-year member of our orchestra the concert master for four years of our orchestra, and the first violin for four years. At the Varsity Athletics Bank Banquet, Emma's name was omitted accidentally for the four-year Letterman Award, but Emma was awarded the four-year Letterman Award for swim. Emma will be attending Westmont College, where she will swim for the Warriors and will pursue a degree in kinesiology. Emma received athletic scholarships and the President's Scholarship for Academic Merit at Westmount College. Emma Grace Leathers. <laughs> Samantha Yi Lian Li. Samantha is receiving the Honor Scholar Diploma and is a lifetime member of the California Scholarship Federation. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Sam received the four-year Letterman Award for basketball. 
Sam will be taking a gap year to follow her passion for missions through an internship with the Sanctuary Church. Samantha Yi Lian Li. Shane Joseph Linter. Shane is receiving the Honors Scholar Diploma at the Varsity Athletic Banquet. Shane received the four-year Letterman Award for cross country and for track and field. Shane also received a congressional nomination and will be attending the United States Air Force Academy, where he will pursue a degree in economics and will run cross country for the Falcons. Shane represents the fifth congressional nomination for our school in five years to the military academies. Congratulations. Mary Major Polk McAdam. Mary is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma and is a member of the National Honor Society. The Court of Red re represents her role as Cincinnati's House Captain. Mary has attended Trinity since kindergarten also. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Mary received the four-year Letterman Award for soft, softball and the award for the multi-sport athlete. Mary will be attending College of the Canyons, where she will pursue a degree in political science and will be playing on the Cougars tennis team. Mary Major Polk McAdam. Aiden Patrick McMath. Aiden is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. Aiden has attended Trinity since kindergarten. Aiden will be attending the Grand Canyon University where he will pursue a degree in criminal justice. Aiden received academic merit scholarships. Aiden Patrick McMath. Noah Daniel Mestis. <laughs> Noah is receiving the Honors Scholar Diploma and is the co-president of the National Honor Society. Noah is the president of our Young Americans for Freedom Club and the editor of the yearbook. Noah received the Lions Club Student Speaker Scholarship Noah was accepted into the University of California Trojan Transfer Plan. He will attend College of the Canyons for one year and then transfer to the University of Southern California into the design program. Noah Daniel Mestis. <laughs> Max Floyd Mitchell. <laughs> Max is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. The Court of Purple represents his role as Boethius House Captain. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Max received the four-year Letterman Award for Baseball. Max has enlisted into the United States Army. Max Floyd Mitchell. Isla Mushawar. <laughs> Isla is rece receiving the Distinguished Scholars Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member. 
Isla will be attending the University of California, Davis, where she will pursue a degree in political science. Isla Mushawar. Judah Malcolm Gaetano Palmasano. <laughs> Judah is receiving the Honor Scholar Diploma and is a California Federation Lifetime Member. Judah was a four-year member of our orchestra. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Judah received the four-year Letterman Award for baseball. He will be attending California Baptist University, where he will pursue a degree in kinesiology. Judah received academic merit scholarships. Judah Palmasano. <laughs> Luke Potter. Luke is receiving the Honors Scholar Diploma. Luke will be attending the University of California, Irvine. His major is undeclared at this time. Luke Potter. Rachel Leon Rackerby. <laughs> Rachel is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma. The Court of Purple represents her role as Boethius House Captain. Rachel has attended Trinity since kindergarten. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Rachel received the four-year Letterman Award for swim. Rachel will be attending George Fox University, where she will pursue a degree in pre-law. Rachel received academic merit scholarships. Rachel Rackerby. Spencer Joseph Rapier. Spencer is receiving the Distinguished Scholars Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation lifetime member. Spencer has attended Trinity since kindergarten. Spencer was a four-year member of the orchestra at the Fine Arts Banquet, Spencer received the Scholar Artist Award. At the Baccalaureate, Spencer was honored with the Excellence in Languages Award, which is the highest honor given to the student with the highest achievement in language. He will be attending Pepperdine University in their three and two program which is three years at Pepperdine, pursuing a degree in natural science, then two more years at the University of California, University of Southern California, pursuing a degree in mechanical engineering in the Verta B program. Spencer received academic merit scholarships. Spencer Rapier. Kristen Nicholas Rodriguez. <laughs> Tristan is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member. He will be attending West Virginia University where he will pursue a degree in Mechanical Engineering. Tristan received Academic Merit Scholarships. Tristan Rodriguez.
Heidi Elizabeth Schaefer. <laughs> Heidi is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member. Heidi has attended Trinity since kindergarten. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Heidi, Heidi received the award for the multi-sport athlete. She will be attending Arizona State University where she will pursue a degree in sports business. Heidi received academic merit scholarships. Heidi Schaefer. Zachary Scott Totten. Zach is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member. Zach has attended Trinity since kindergarten. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Zach received the four-year Letterman Award for basketball. At the Film Festival Awards, Zach received in partnership the award for best animated film. He will be attending Grand Canyon University where he will pursue a degree in business administration as well as participate in the Reserve Officers Training Corps, ROTC. Zach received academic merit scholarships. Zach Totten. Chloe Gabrielle Velasco. <laughs> Chloe is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Chloe received the four-year Letterman Award for cheer. Chloe was accepted into the into the University of Southern California Trojan Transfer Plan. She will attend College of the Canyons for one year and then transfer to the University of Southern California where she will pursue a degree in political science. Chloe will also participate in the Reserve Officers Training Corps at the University of Southern California. Chloe Velasco. Benjamin August Wexler. Ben is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma, is a member of the National Honor Society, and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member. Ben is also a Lifetime Knight, attending Trinity since kindergarten. Ben was co-founder and co-president of our Trinity Business Club. At the Varsity Athletic Banquet, Ben received the four-year Letterman Award for soccer. Ben will be attending Walla Walla University, where he will pursue a degree in business administration. Ben received academic and athletic scholarship awards, and he will play soccer for the Walla Walla Wolves. Ben Wexler. Phineas Han Q Yi. <laughs> Phineas is receiving the College Preparatory Diploma and is a California Scholarship Federation Lifetime Member. Phineas will be playing football at the College of Worcester where he will pursue a degree in business management Phineas received academic and athletic scholarships. Phineas Yi.
class of 2019, please rise. I beseech and pray these words from author and theologian John Piper in Don't Waste Your Life. I plead that you desire that your life count for something great and long for your life to have eternal significance, that whatever you do, you find the God-centered, Christ-exalting, Bible-saturated passion of your life and find your way to say it, live for it, and die for it. And you will make a difference that lasts. You will not waste your life. Now, by the power vested in me, by Trinity's Board of Trustees, by the State of California, and by our accrediting agency, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, I hereby confer upon you the honorable title of graduate of the Rhetoric School at Trinity Classical Academy. You may now move your tassels from right to left. I present to you our eighth graduating class, class of 2019. Well done. Trinity alumni, you may take your seat. Today we give a, a prayer of dedication for two, two primary reasons, the way that I see it. First, to commemorate a significant moment in time as we recognize the completion of something. And secondly, to give or to get, dedicate someone to something bigger. So in this case, we dedicate our seniors to the Lord simply because in some ways that is all there is left for us to do. Graduates, we have all collectively invested in your physical, your mental, and most importantly, your spiritual development. And now it's your time to move from not only high school to college, but to also make a significant change in making your education, your character, your faith, and essentially your life and who you are, your own. So we as the Trinity community of faculty, staff, parents, family members, students, dedicate you your life and your soul to the Lord, knowing that he can and will continue to care for you much better and more faithfully than we can. Oftentimes in our senior apologetics class, we came back to this verse in Psalm 16, because we recognize something. We recognize that often when we sin, that often when we fall, that often when we fail, it's because we believe the lie. We believe the lie that Satan wants us to believe that there is something better that there is something better than Jesus. Yet Psalm 1611 says this, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And it is with this in mind that I give today's prayer of dedication. Pray with me. Lord, we thank, we thank you and we praise you. We come before you grateful and thankful for these graduates, Lord, for their time at Trinity, for the time that we've been able to invest in them, the conversations, the classes, the ways that we could shape their minds, their bodies, and Lord, again, most importantly, their souls, souls that, that look to you, souls that long for you. Lord, I pray that you would bless them, that you would keep them, Lord, that you would keep them from believing the lie that there is something better than you that there is something better than you that will, will satisfy them, will give them hope, will give them peace. Lord, may they continue to remember that Jesus is better and that obedience to you is always the best choice that they can make, not because they have to, but because they get to, that when they obey you, they find fullness of joy. Lord, and that at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Thank you. 
Thank you for your son. Lord, thank you that he came for us, that he died. And most importantly, that he rose again so that we might know and that we might have the opportunity for eternal life. And it's in the precious name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Would the class of 2020 please rise? Well done. You have nearly finished what some may argue to be the hardest academic year of Trinity. You had 365 days until you walked down the aisle and received your diploma. 365 days. During the course of your next year, you will accomplish so much academically, grow so much spiritually, and mature so much emotionally. You will face defeat and disappointment, but you will also encounter so many blessings you had taken for granted before. Rising seniors, we have loved your class for so long. We have developed a friendship with all of you, whether through sports or the fine arts or the house system. Your friendships with each other are ones that you must hold on to to thrive in your senior year. For whenever you feel alone in college applications, or in your final AP testing, you need only look to your classmates. There will be hard times ahead. I pray that the blessings you will experience this coming year will help you know it's indeed worth it. May you have enough love in your class to conquer any strife. May you have enough laughter and inside jokes to make the hard times easier. May you have enough sleep so that when the sleepless nights come, you will be ready. May you have enough courage to conquer anything Mr. Wipro, Mr. Anquist, and Dr. Selby throw at you in senior thesis class. The Irish have a benediction that has been passed down through generations. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm on your face. May the rain fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of your hand. Class of 2020, when I see your faces, I see a class of courageous young adults ready to make their lasting mark on Trinity. Almost seniors, listen to me one last time. It is almost time for you to be the role models of the upper school. It is almost your time. So I ask you, what will you do with your 365 days? Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this class. I thank you for giving them friendships which will endure beyond high school. I thank you for a school such as Trinity for fostering such friendships. Lord, I pray for your protection over this precious group of students. May you guard their hearts against pain and turn them away from evil. Bless them in their victories and comfort them in their defeats. I pray that they learn to cling to you and to rest their futures in your hands. Amen. Now, seniors, take care of each other. Take care of our teachers and take care of our tree. Thank you. As a token of our gratitude, the class of 2019 offers this gift. a framed photo of us. <laughs> We're sure that everyone who passes by it in the hallway will enjoy our beautiful and smiling faces, but more importantly, the photo bears a signed note of thanks and appreciation from each senior. To properly ornament this memory of the men and women that Trinity Classical Academy has helped grow, thank you. Most recent alumni, our school verse for this year fits in well with our baccalaureate message yesterday. 
where your family and friends prayed over you as you start the next new chapter of your life. Would everyone please stand with me as we read God's word together, followed by our hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be. Let's read together. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Take my life. join me in prayer. Father God, we acknowledge you. You are the great, all-powerful, everywhere present, all-knowing God. It is you that has created and crafted and called each of these graduates. And so this is so much more than simply a commencement. It is a commissioning and we entrust them into your hand to fulfill your purposes. They are going into campuses, classrooms, dorm rooms, laboratories, some into the marketplace to be your representatives and everywhere they go, they carry your presence with them. They are chosen tools to accomplish your purposes and we invite your blessing on them. And Father God, I pray for the moms and the dads here today. These students have been raised to be released. And today is a significant milestone of releasing. And only a parent can know the celebration of that release and the grieving of that release. And so we pray your blessing and comfort on these parents as well. Thank you for Trinity Classical Academy. Bless these faculty, these students, these parents and extended family. And we pray it in your name. Amen. 